back for another video, you feel what I'm saying? Hey man, today, I ain't gonna lie, we about to watch one of these little A&E videos, but they, they, they be having some crazy videos on here, we about to watch these little court cases. Uh, yeah, they be tripping in them court uh, rooms, bro, we about to see the best ones. I ain't even hold y'all with this title, man, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to, you know what I'm saying, you can drop a like, you know what I'm feel me? Or a comment, or you can follow me on the ground, or on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Just saying. But we gonna watch the video, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even hold y'all with none of that extra talk. Sleep in there. You can wake up too in the back row. Oh, cuz sleep in the bond court. Bond I have a few announcements. I'm he tripping. A public defender to represent all defendants unless you tell me you have money to pay for a private lawyer or if you are hiring a private lawyer and one is here. Also, please let me know if you have served in the United States military or any of the reserves. Good morning. Good morning. Over the next few hours, she'll see dozens of defendants. That boy. For second degree murder. Dang. Step in. Uh, I'm in the military, Your Honor. You are? And quickly step out. Hi, Mr. Boot. How are you? How you doing, man? Okay, man. 49 year old Arthur Booth is a career criminal. Charged with burglary, grand theft, fleeing. A career arrest. criminal? What the freak that mean? We have actually three arrests now, but it's reckless driving. Damage to property, leaving the scene of a crash with serious injury. With no serious injury. I'm sorry, no serious injury. Okay. After questioning, Judge Glazer explains the terms of his bond. The bond on count one is 7,500. But the judge notices something familiar about this defendant. Okay, Mr. Booth, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Did you go to Nautilus for middle school? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry to see you here. I always wondered what happened to you, sir. Oh, my goodness. This is a nice Dang, I ain't gonna lie. That's messed up, bro. Oh he was the best kid in middle school. I used to play football with him and all the kids. And look what happened. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Dang, I ain't gonna lie. That's messed up, bro. Damn, bro, that's really how it be too. You know, you be wondering what happened to your people you went to school with, bro. Hey, you be thinking some of your family members dead, you ain't seen them in a while. That's really where they be at, man. man bro. The surprise reunion. Like, bro, feel like that's embarrassment, bro. It's almost too much for Booth to handle. Oh, yeah, that's my stuff. That's like seeing your mama. That's like seeing your mama, like. When she see you in court, like that's like kind of like on that type of time. You a life of petty crime, mm. resulting in multiple stays in prison. Oh my goodness! Good luck to you, sir. I hope you're able to come out of this okay and just lead a lawful life. And you know what's crazy? That one interaction might change his whole trajectory. You feel me? Or it might not, but I don't know. I mean, that's crazy. Somberly concludes as Glazer sets bail at forty-three thousand mm. dollars. Oh my goodness! Booth is sent to prison for ten months and then released into a drug treatment program. Okay, ten months. And still, still prison. Frank Murphy Hall of Justice in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, we we in the D. Sentencing of twenty-five-year-old Amanda Casal. There's a lot of things that you can do, and your life doesn't have to be over because of a poor choice. You just have to accept responsibility for it and find a way to make something positive out of a very negative situation. Casal has been found guilty of driving under the influence, causing a head-on collision. Dang. Twenty-year-old Jerome Zerker. And severely oh, injured his fiance, 31 year old Brittany Johnson. The couple have five children together. Prior to sentencing, the court will hear a powerful impact statement. I uh, so be him. Read by his sister, Doreen Zerker. Amanda, mm. look what you did to my life. You ruined everything I had, like my dad's life. Mm. Amanda seems devastated by Doreen's words. But Judge Kiana Lillard apparently hears some snickering from Casal's family sitting in the gallery. You can go to whoever can sit here at a tragic moment like this and laugh and smile when somebody has lost a family member. Oh, they tweaking. 
You cannot come down to the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice and act any way you want to act. That's the defendant's mother, Donna Casal. Oh, yeah, oh, she tweaking, boy. Ma'am, you oh, are taken into custody mm -hmm. for criminal contempt. Your disruptive and disrespectful behavior disrupted today's proceedings, and you, ma'am, are going to the Wayne County Jail for 93 days for direct criminal contempt. Oh, Anybody what the freak? Go, try it. Oh, she not playing. The county jail. Judge Lillard offers a stern reminder about etiquette in the courtroom. These are very serious matters, and I understand you all are upset because your loved one is going to prison. But guess what? She's going to prison for the choices that she made. Dang! She not playing with her, boy. Sitting in there laughing when somebody died, boy. The freak wrong with you, boy? But she thought it was green, boy. <laughs> but she thought. She thought it was green, boy. What the freak? I ain't got a lot of twin tripping, boy. I don't know. She tum up, boy. I never go for that, boy. You laughing in court, boy. She, that disrespectful, boy. What the freak? She tripping, bro. She might be. It might. Dang, what if she had like a mental issue if she was laughing and stuff? No, um, nah, probably not. Dang. Hold on, nah. What's up with that? Nah, three years. I ain't trying to wish jail on nobody, but that boy, uh, Henry Ruggs, um, same situation, kind of fatal accident, killed somebody, bro, facing 10. But I guess it's a different situation. I mean, I ain't even gonna get into that because we know how the, how the court system go. As for Amanda's mother, Donna. She spends the night in jail and appears before Judge Lillard the next morning. Eh. Seems to have learned a serious lesson. I'm just yeah, this ain't no joke, boy. Look, nah, nah, look, nah, look, look, nah, 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 she crying, nah, she crying. Look, this ain't no joke, boy. This, this real life, boy. Like, like people lives is on the line. Freak wrong with you? Like, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing funny. Hey, it's different when them, when them shoes is on your foot. It's different when that foot is on. It's different when that shoe on the other foot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, she thought she was on a TV show, but it's, it's real. Hey, that one day gonna real life humble you, boy. One day in prison, boy. Hey, y'all. Uh, man, what? Hey, but that just goes to show, bro. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> it's not a game, bro. And I apologize very slowly and for the other family. Donna serves one day. I'm glad she figured that out, learned her lesson, because. Yeah, bro. We don't joke about that. All right, man, I'm finna end this video right here because this is on low key long. I ain't finna watch all of these. And go check out the video from yesterday and all that. Um, so, all my soldiers out there, man, keep grinding, man. For sure. For sure, that. Only straight up, man. Real talk, man. Dead for real, man. Keep keep grinding, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Real talk, man. I mean that sincerely. Love, man. Love, man. Love, man. Stop the hate. I'm gonna see y'all the next one, man. Y'all stay blessed. <laughs> They said the truth would set you free But I wouldn't know cause all my secrets I had to keep I lie my heart inside a place without a key Me and bro the same, they look at me and they look at me